All right, all right, all right. What is up? I am in Arhanes and today we will be taking a walk around and ha uh, around Arhanes. Today it is the 25th of November and it is uh, a pretty cloudy day. It, uh, it's raining and sometimes it's not raining. But other than that, this place is amazing. And if you haven't visited yet, then you must consider it uh, consider this place visiting because it's really beautiful and you are going to figure that out in this video You may already have an idea how this village is and how the, is the architect. Uh, it is reminding me of a little bit of the Vomus village, but it is 10 times better and much more modified and nicely kept uh, village. And uh, I know many people from uh, the Europe, they are interested and they have visited this place and if you are somebody who haven't visited this place yet you're absolutely going to like it this place has very nice taverns uh, very uh, friendly atmosphere and one another thing that if you come to this place and if you ask about yuchtas we want to go to yuchtas uh, people will show you uh, how to go there or you can uh, uh, search this uh, in the Google Maps. I will leave a link uh, so you can go there as well and have a beautiful hike
it's not raining and I don't know why I am carrying an umbrella. <laughs> I should close this. Okay, let's do that by bringing it back. Yes. Oops. Oh, got it. And it's not just this. Uh, if we keep walking and exploring uh, our harness, it's getting even more interesting. And uh, this is the Pano Arhanes, Ano Arhanes. Sometimes it is, uh, we call it Ano and sometimes it's called it Pano. And then there is Kato Arhanes, which is a, small, a smaller version of Arhanes. It's uh, a bit rainy and if I wouldn't have the umbrella, the uh, rain can uh, rain on the lens of the GoPro then uh, it's gonna be a hassle to clean it and then to record again and then. So I better use the umbrella if in uh, some places it's not raining in some moments when it is raining.
with every street that you see, the narrow path, uh, that's something that you can personally explore and walk around and see because there is a uh, nice architect, uh, maybe there are things that I don't know and it will be difficult to cover everything in a video. The way our eyes perceive uh, life and reality, it's much different with a lens. Okay, so you are not just limited to what I'm doing, you can find your own way of exploring this place, but believe me, if you would make the decision to visit this village, you're not going to be disappointed. That's a promise. Those potatoes look very fresh and very inviting.
I really don't know what's this place. Let me ask. Γεια σα, καλημέρα. Μπορείτε να μου πείτε τι χώρο είναι αυτό, Είναι η βιβλιοπολία. Είναι πολιτιστικό κέντρο, γίνονται διάφορε δράσει που κρίνουν εδώ. Και οι άνθρωποι έρχονται. Μαζεύεται οι άνθρωποι. Οκ. Like a social center. Social center. Ναι. Ναι. Οκ, ευχαριστώ πολύ. Οκ. Uh, luckily, there was a very kind lady in the reception. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a social center that uh, gatherings happen here, exhibitions, uh, maybe speeches, things like that. And now we are approaching kind of the very center of Arhanes where the goodness exists. Taverns, coffee shops, square, and uh, more people. And those of you who are interested in bars and in shisha and these kind of things, so we have one here for you. Very nicely decorated, very good lighting. And uh, yeah, they are more than uh, happy to welcome you. Well, there are many taverns that you can try in different occasions when you visit Kriti. Come here, spend a day, eat something, but the ones that I like is here.
and we have a place here it says it's it's Nikyazit, uh, it's for rent and if you are somebody who wants who is thinking about starting a business or whatever so you, this is And this one uh, is uh, saying Kritiki Kuzina. This is like Cretan cuisine here. That would be something uh, nice to explore and figure out because we, s we have the Greek cuisine, but it's first time I'm seeing something written like Kritiki Kuzina, like Cretan cuisine. So if you are visiting Arhanes, then this could be a good option. And we have a shop here uh, with the Cretan products, Calimera. And uh, it seems to me not touristic at all. And uh, it seems like a, a, like one of those shops that you will get the real product if you're looking for. So I can read like there are, they, they sell soaps, essential oils, like wild herbs, all of, all of this stuff. So yeah, give this place a visit and look at this buildings <laughs> I was bothering the lady <laughs>
when you look at this uh, painting on the wall, you really can't uh, make sense. But uh, like when you take a picture, then it looks different. Pretty amazing artwork. I like that concept. And here we have uh, an art shop. They have paintings, all sorts of products, and the prices are written on the top. And if you want to grab something from here, that's gonna be also a very good thing to do. Yeah, very beautiful. I didn't know about this one. I just accidentally turned and I figured out there is the Church of Agios Georgios.
historic hotel Hilas. Okay, so this is a hotel here. But I like the this. It, <laughs> imagine how beautiful it is. This this green stuff around the door. It's kind of taking us back in time, like thousands of ten dozen thousand. 10,000, 20,000 years ago back in the, I guess I'm going so much back in time, I should say like, mm, like from the movie, the Lord of the Rings, that they have these houses and their doors are round and then uh, uh, it's like uh, covered with uh, grass and green. It's like that feeling, it's giving us at the moment and a certain like a little for a fraction of a moment I had the feeling like, I am back in that time and those are things like like you you gotta let yourself to feel those those moments and to be hit by that energy yeah and how that's possible it's possible when you visit places that are unique like Arhanes I also didn't know about the museum, so we have a museum as well. Thank you. 
Uh, the umbrella that I have, I bought it like uh, 10 euros and I don't think it has the um, capacity to defeat strong wind and uh, I'm looking for an umbrella, uh, a bigger umbrella and also a stronger umbrella which is like a storm resistance and storm proof and everything and windproof. So if you have any ideas uh, what could be a good option, please let me know because I am really looking uh, forward to it. What a beautiful orange tree in front of this house. Okay, so this was it for Arhanes. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and also share your thoughts, recommendations. And also don't forget the recommendation about the umbrella in the comments. I really am looking forward to get one. And uh, in case, uh, if you are having a good time, consider subscribing. Other than that, until the next time, peace.